Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCoy. Today's topic is, are you consistently dating the same type of people? We're all in charge of who we attract and who we let into our life. I know I say this a lot, but it's very true and it's something that needs to be understood within yourself when you are dating. Because when we have a certain type that we keep going back to, that isn't working out for us, we need to change up our strategy. We need to understand that something isn't working and why are we going back to the same drawing board all the time? Why are we not understanding that this person isn't right for us? Sometimes what happens is it's a familiar situation. We're drawn to somebody who's super attractive to us. We just have a type that really gets our attention. There's lots of types out there. There's lots of attractive people. And I always found in my dating experiences that I didn't date the same look. I might have dated similar types of character, but the looks were all completely different. So regardless of whether you're choosing people who look the same or acting the same, the point is, is to learn from each encounter that you have with anybody you date. Everybody's got great qualities. Yes, maybe they don't work out for you. It doesn't mean they're a terrible person and it doesn't mean that you're bad for choosing them and allowing them in your life. It just means you need to pay closer attention to what works for you and what doesn't work for you. And this is where a lot of people make mistakes. They don't understand when they look back at the people that they dated, when they sort of t make a list of kind of what they, where they went and what they did, they do see a pattern. And unfortunately, when we repeat any patterns in life and we're still on the same path and not improving with what we're looking for, we need to change up what isn't working. We all need realigning sometimes in our life. If we're repeating any patterns at all, we need to sit down and say to ourselves, okay, what can I do differently? How do I come across on a date? What am I putting out there? Why am I attracting the same types? Is it me that's bringing them towards me? Or am I looking for that particular type? When something is familiar to you, it feels like home, it's comfort. And that can be why we do choose similar people in our lives all the time. Because if we had any good moments with somebody like that in our past, it brings back a, a feeling of comfort, a, you know, that sort of safe place. But unfortunately, it's not really a safe place because it didn't work out. So once you understand that you're choosing familiar situations, familiar characters, familiar looks in people, then you will un understand that this is, this is not working for you. So you're going to have to change up a little bit about what you're doing. It's not that difficult to do, it's just once you acknowledge it, then you can make the changes. A lot of people don't understand that's the problem. But now that you've wa you're watching this video, you're starting to understand that, okay, I, I get what she's saying. There is some stuff that I'm doing that's repetitive. I am repeating certain patterns that are giving me the same end results. We all have to take some accountability for our choices, our actions, our viewpoints. And that's totally fantastic to do so. It's absolutely necessary to do so if you want to change your life and go in a better direction. Some people blame the other people when it doesn't work out. But if you're really, really, truly honest with yourself and you sit down and you look at what you're doing, you will see that you're the common denominator. You're the person that is allowing all these things to happen. It doesn't mean that they're bad things. It just means they're not working for you. So if you're finding that, okay, I get it. I'm dating the same people. I'm dating the same types. Maybe it's time to lose the checklist. Maybe you've got it just too ingrained in your brain about what you want, what you're looking for, and you don't want to divert from any of that. It's not working. So if it's not working, you got to change it. Sometimes it's a good idea just to take a few months or even a year away from dating, prioritize other things in your life for a while.
because when you come back in and date again, then you see more clearly, ah, now I get it. This is what I was looking for. This is what I was doing. And this isn't working for me. So I need to alter this, change the checklist, stop dating for a while and start dating somebody you wouldn't normally date. Change up the entire idea of what you've always lived by before. Because I'm telling you right now, sometimes we just don't know that the people that we've gone for all these years really don't serve our well-being. They're not good for us. It might have been the person that got away and it's bothering you because of ego things or just heartbreak. You don't want to go back to something that broke your heart. The reason it didn't stick for you in your life was because it wasn't meant to be there for you. Another thing about taking time away from dating is <laughs> it's so much easier to see maybe if there was any dysfunction happening or maybe that there was all these repetitive things that happened on your dates that and they were it just kept going in the same direction over and over and over again. We don't always see things clearly until we step away. And that's the great thing about stepping away from certain situations in our life that don't work or aren't working. You have much more clarity when you take time to be by yourself, figure out who you are. And maybe that's not exactly what you're looking for and that's why it's not working out. The point is, if you are continuing a situation over and over and over again, and it's causing you frustration, it's causing you hurt, sadness, loneliness, anger, any of those emotions, 